Welcome back. Well, I've been looking for a chance to revisit the vase or a planter file. We found this Taco Bell bag that you can print in vase mode on printables. It's by Dave Money Sign, and they actually did a 3D scan of a Taco Bell bag there in their shop. But what appealed to us was this make you can see in the pictures of people doing planters with it. So I really wanted to see if that's possible, if we can make it watertight and be able to use it as a planner. Also in the details, he explains two different ways that you can do this print. You can do vase mode, or you can do a 0% infill, three bottom layers, zero top layers, and two perimeters to make it a little bit thicker, bulkier. So that is what I wanted to go with was trying to make it just really thick and watertight for sure. Also, I just got a new filament by Overture, which is air, so it's supposed to be less dense, and it's a wood color, so I thought this might be a good fit for this. It might feel lightweight like an actual paper bag, um, so I wanted to try this out, the air wood. This filament does not feel like other wood filaments. It's very, um, the texture is very different. It almost feels like it would be a little bit brittle. So I wanted to go ahead and do a temp tower so that I can make sure I know what I'm doing before I start the print. And I ran this through on the Prusa XL to start. I did watch the print and I did see the temperatures change as it went up, but I really don't notice a whole lot of difference in this. I mean. They're stringing all the way through. It looks a little bit better at the lower temps, um, but I really don't see any weirdness as far as seams at the different temperatures. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it just at the standard 215 and we'll see how it turns out. So I pulled the file into Prusa Slicer. And before making any changes, not doing base mode or anything, I just wanted to see what it would take. I was just curious what it would look like. Um, this is at the 0.2 speed. It says it's going to be a little over 14 hours. Of course that's solid and that's not what I want to print, but I was just kind of curious what it would what it would look like if we did go that route. So still with the 0.2 speed, I jumped to the spiral vase. I want to see how that is going to look. So the spiral vase still at the 0.2 speed regular MK4, not with input shaping, is gonna be about three hours, 45 minutes. And of course, we might as well see what the input shaping is on spiral vase mode. I wanna see how much it speeds things up. So with spiral vase, with the input shaping, we're at one hour 50, so definitely quite a bit faster overall on this. It's looking like it's gonna be about 51 grams. Um, but as I zoom in a little bit on this, I do see and it may just be the way I'm looking at it, but it looks like I am seeing holes or not complete, not a complete file um, as I'm scrolling around. So I think I'm gonna go with the other option that, that uh, the designer had suggested and go through and do two perimeters, zero top layers, and then three bottom layers. And then I flip over to the infill and make sure that that is still at 0%. So I'm looking at about two and a half hours and about 89 grams for this print. And I look around it quite a bit to make sure there's no crazy bridging or anything else that I need to enable. And overall, it looks good. Um, there's a little bit you can see at the top layer there, the purple. But um, I think, I think this will work and let's go ahead and get it started. The print itself goes fine. As I'm watching this video speed through, I am reminded that previously I thought that the screen, the image was highlighting where it was printing, and I was wrong about that. You guys had mentioned that, that it is actually just a percentage, and just like it's on the right, it fills up the image on the left as well. Okay, let's see how this print turned out. It does still stick to the bed pretty good, which surprises me. It doesn't feel delicate, like I thought as well. Um, the front looks pretty good. There are some spots on the side where there's some holes and just kind of some skips on that crunched part right there. There's a little bit of funny overhang. The back has a little bit of like zits, maybe the seam. Um, but overall, it looks interesting. Uh, there's a hole there. It looks good, the bottom looks good, but I feel like with those holes and skips, it's, it's not gonna hold water. The inside has some stringing, 
um, which I don't love, but I was planning to, you know, put a plant in it anyway. So it doesn't really matter on the inside. I just wish that the outside had just been a little bit more solid and would, you know, hold up a little bit better. But I think the filament turned out cool. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Um, and it looks like a Taco Bell bag to me, for sure. I, I like all the crunchiness of it. And it's, it's just kind of an interesting print. It does flex just a tiny bit when I really put some pressure on it, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna crunch in. So now I wanna see how the XL will compare and see if it holds up a little bit better, maybe looks a little more watertight. So I keep all the same settings and just swap over to the XL with the 0.6 nozzle. And I kept that 0.2 layer height at first because I wanted to compare, but it looks like it's gonna take over six hours and be 118 grams. Um, that time frame, I just feel like I want to compare something that's a similar time frame. So I go ahead and swap it and change it to a different layer height. I go to the 0.4, which is draft, and that brings it down to 2 hours, 57 minutes. So just a little bit under 3 hours. Um, I don't love trying to print completely different profiles, but what I'm trying to compare is what are we going to get with the same speed. So let's go ahead and start this on the XL. It is a 0.6 nozzle and it's 0.4 layer height and I am using the same filament I ran one completely through and then I used that same roll of filament and sw swapped it over to the XL so it's the same exact filament same roll everything it prints pretty good um, I was in the room and I happened to hear a beep and I turned around and saw this so it just automatically had a crash detection and decided to rehome and it immediately went right back to printing again you can see right now there's it's back to the original print and I didn't touch anything. I didn't I didn't have to click OK or anything. But that rehoming did not work out quite right. It prints just a little bit off. There was a little bit of filament on the layer and so I clipped that off and it continued printing because as you can see there's an obvious line. So this sticks to the satin sheet just fine as well as the MK4 had the PEI sheet. Um, but that line is noticeable. It almost looks like I had folded it over on itself a little bit. Um, but other than the line, it does look like there's issues in the same space right there. Um, the layer lines are obviously more visible, but there is a little bit less holes, it seems like, overall. Um, but it does have issues in the same spots, it seems like. Inside, it seems like it's stringed in exactly the same places. Um, it looks very similar to the MK4 print. Okay, let's compare them together. We've got the XL on the right, and then the MK4, or the Mark IV print, is going to be on the left right there. They overall look very similar in the, the sheen and the overall print. Um, there is, you can definitely see a little more layer lines on the one on the right, the XL, of course. And I feel like there's a little less zits on it as well. Um, and there, it seems like there's less holes. There's a little less stringing on the outside on this left side. Um, the left print obviously has a lot more stringing at that kind of crunch spot. And the back, I feel like, looks a little bit better. Um, a little less of the zits on the XL. These are kind of awkward to handle and put around. But um, yeah, and then on this side, of course, the MK4 looks a lot better without that layer. Inside, I mean, they look very similar, almost exact. Where the stringing is and how much there is is very similar. Maybe a tiny bit more on the Mark IV. I really like this design. I like the print. I wish that it would be something that was watertight, like I had planned on. So I'm going to have to go back and adjust my settings and try something else. Let me know if you would do more perimeters. Would you do a different layer height? What would you do? Or would you not do input shaping on the MK4? Thanks for watching.